Now, you've got to give us your, yeah. your thoughts on uh, Anastasia Palaszczuk. I mean, she's starting to wind up for an election late next year, but I hate this stuff, even though I must admit, in years gone by, I've been involved in it. That's government-funded, <laughs> taxpayer-funded political spruiking. Have a look. If you know me, you know I don't give in, no matter what. You give me that strength. Every person who stops me with a kind word, every show of support on social media, every little kid who reminds me of where I've come from and why it is so important to follow your dreams. Give me strength, Susie. No one needs reminding of where they've come from and certainly they don't need to spend taxpayers' money on guff like that. Every tax, what they don't say is every taxpayer who's funded this um, <laughs> advertisement. I mean, come on, give me a break. I mean, it's a year out for more than a year out from the election. So this was dropped on the day that the uh, the opposition released their blueprint, and it's also come at a time when that government is at, sitting at about thirty four percent approval rating. So this is a desperate act from a desperate woman funded by taxpayers. Give so, me a break. So taking your taking your theory to its logical extension, when they put up a statue of Anastasia Palaszczuk, they can say she was <laughs> Premier of Queensland from such and such and such and stuff, <laughs> got the Olympic Games, but spent a shed load of taxpayers' money on political spin. That'll do it. Well, who's going to pay Chris, for that, Clark? Taxpayers, no doubt. <laughs> Stephen? The question is, though, who is she aiming at? Is it the voters of Queensland or is it the people in her own party room saying, you know, stick with me, don't go with the work experience, kid? Trust Stephen to get inside the machinations. You're dead right. <laughs> She's pitching to the party room, not so much to the electorate.